Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Stellar X Zero Fee Decentralized Crypto Exchange. So let's get going. So there's a new decentralized exchange that's now available. Uh, it's not really a decentralized exchange. It's basically a GUI, which gives you access to the Stellar network so that you can uh, buy and sell uh, Stellar-based uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, but it also has features which allow you to uh, buy and sell other things that are accessible on the Stellar network, like other currencies, uh, and you're able to fund it uh, through Changely and things like that. So it's pretty exciting. And uh, there are no fees at all. And uh, the fees, the Stellar fees are so low uh, that this uh, Stellar X is going to reimburse you your trading fees out of pocket. So it's a no fee, completely free to use cryptocurrency exchange. So uh, let's dive in. I'll show you how it works. All right. Uh, so the first thing uh, you're going to need to do is get your hands on some Stellar. So I'll go over that a little bit. Uh, some of you may be wondering what is Stellar. So we'll talk about that a little bit. So Stellar is a uh, blockchain based network. Uh, it's been around a bit, a few years now and uh, the native currency is the Stellar Lumens. And it is a uh, free to use network that allows people to exchange value uh, across the internet. Very, very similar to Bitcoin, the way Bitcoin works. And uh, there are many ways to store and save Stellar. Uh, if you go over here to their wallets, you can see that there's lots of different types of Stellar wallets that are out there. So what we need to do to get going is to choose a Stellar wallet, uh, get it installed, and then put some Stellar in. So I'm going to be using my Ledger Nano S to hold my Stellar. I've got a lot of videos on how to use the Ledger Nano S, but I'll, I'll quickly go over. I'm going to show you how to get and buy a little Stellar and then open up the wallet and uh, put some Stellar in there. So what we want to do is uh, connect our Ledger Nano S to our computer. Uh, we'll enter our PIN. Okay, and once we've entered our PIN, we're going to go over here to uh, Ledger. And we're going to want to use uh, Ledger Live. If you haven't uh, installed Ledger Live yet, I recommend it. It's a great new interface for your uh, Ledger Nano S. All right, once we have Ledger Live installed, we'll go ahead and launch that. Enter our password. All right, and we're going to want to go over to the manager. And to enter the manager, we'll need to confirm on our ledger where the little check mark is. All right, and once we've done that, we're going to go down to find Stellar and we'll click the install. This is going to put the Stellar app on our Ledger Nano S. All right, and then uh, once we've done that, uh, we're done with Ledger Live. Uh, we don't use Ledger Live to interface Stellar. So we just want to confirm that the Stellar app is on our device and we'll just enter. Uh, by clicking both buttons. And once we're in the Stellar app, we can uh, go over back over to Stellar. And uh, we're going to click this Ledger option on the Stellar Wallets page. And uh, we'll choose uh, Use Account Viewer. And you'll notice that this Sign In with Ledger is blue. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll just see uh, this public key in an empty balance, and then you'll be ready to transfer some Stellar in here. Now, you, uh, like I mentioned, you can go over to Bittrex, and if you have some uh, Stellar uh, that you've just purchased, you can make a withdrawal, and you'll want to paste in the address of your Stellar wallet. So, in this case, I would just cut and paste this guy, in here and I don't need the tag because I'm sending it to my own personal wallet and then you would put in your amount uh, in this case maybe eight but I've tried this it doesn't work I don't it's not a large enough amount uh, so I can't really do a live demo of the transfer but you can see the steps right and then you hit withdrawal and then uh, you'll confirm 
and then it will show up in your Stellar wallet. All right, so now that we've got our wallet set up and we've got a little bit of Stellar in there, it's time to get that uh, Stellar X installed. All right, so uh, this does require a, an account or a login, so uh, I'll start with sign up. I'll give them my email. All right, I'm gonna choose a strong password and click sign up, and uh, they're gonna send me a link. All right, so it wants me to verify my email. I'll click that link. All right, and now it wants my password, so I'm gonna enter that. All right, and now that we've got to this login page, it has several options on how we use uh, our Stellar wallet. Their first option is to create a Stellar secret key, which you'll need to manage on your own and from there you'll have an empty Stellar wallet which you'll be able to transfer Stellar into. Now uh, that's not a very secure option and it is uh, fraught with some difficulties. Uh, people new to cryptocurrency don't aren't always as uh, rigorous as they should be. They may misplace this key, uh, not save it properly, and then lose access to their cryptocurrency in their account. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, ledger device option uh, because we've already got our ledger set up. We've got a Stellar wallet and we've got some Stellar ready to go. So I'm going to choose the ledger option. And I have my ledger connected already. So it immediately uh, checked and uh, saw my ledger account. Right? Uh, that is my ledger public address. I'm familiar with it. And so I'm going to click confirm. And now it's got my uh, Stellar public address ready to go. All right. And now it's asking me if I want to accept airdrops, which I will. And I'm going to accept them in Stellar. I think that's cool. So I'll choose Stellar there and I'll continue. All right. And now they're giving me uh, a, a recovery code for my account in case I lose my password. So I'm going to copy that and put that in a safe place. Now you can write this down on a piece of paper. Uh, whatever you think is the most secure way. Uh, you could also cut and paste it into a text file that you save on a flash drive that you keep separate from your computer. Now you'll notice here that they uh, are telling us that we are the ones responsible for this. That if we lose this there's no way they can restore access. That's the way cryptocurrency works. So we need to be rigorous. We need to make sure that we've saved our password and our backup code. So now that I've said OK, I'm going to click that. And it should take me over to the Stellar Market. Now it's going to give me a little tutorial. And as I mentioned before, they're not really the exchange. They're a public marketplace. So in this type of exchange, we're uh, finding it's matching buyers and sellers together. Uh, you're sending tokens directly to their wallet, and they're sending tokens directly to yours. And some of these trades uh, are tethers, which are tied to different networks. And it makes it possible to trade uh, Stellar for different currencies, which is really the promise of the Stellar network, in order being able to exchange value across uh, different borders and uh, nationalities and currencies. And then uh, there are the native tokens on the Stellar network, which I will demonstrate, Moby being one of them. I'm going to buy a little bit of Moby today. And you can also deposit uh, your, cryptograph your uh, cryptocurrencies or your fiat. Uh, if you want to make a deposit into the account, uh, they have the XLM option, uh, which basically means I just send tokens, uh, XLM tokens to this address, which is uh, what we did before we started, you know, in order to, uh, you know, fund our uh, Stellar wallet. Now, and they also have other crypto, and uh, they give you options on amounts and what it'll equal in Stellar. You know, we could change this maybe to one Bitcoin. And that's how much Stellar we would get. And this goes through Changely, uh, which is uh, a separate service that does charge a small fee. Uh, if you uh, want to convert your crypto into Stellar and you've got Litecoin or uh, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or anything else, you could use this option to fund your Stellar wallet. 
Now, keep in mind, whatever your Stellar Wallet option would be, would be where these coins would go. So in my case, I'm using the Legend NOS. You might have created a uh, standalone wallet uh, with a private key when you started this, or you may be using some other Stellar type wallet. Now, uh, the US dollar option is also available, and if we use that, uh, they uh, go through a company called Anchor USD, uh, and they charge a fee as well, and uh, their minimum deposit is a thousand US dollars. And so if you want to fund this uh, trading account with uh, US dollars, that would be the way to go. Now these are partners. This isn't actually the exchange itself. Uh, there are partners that will allow you to deposit your uh, US dollars or other currencies in this exchange so that you can fund it. Now we've already got Stellar, so we don't really need to go through this. Uh, keep in mind, if you deposit uh, fiat into this marketplace, uh, there may be fees uh, from these third parties that uh, are allowing this type of deposit. All right, and there we go. We are ready to go. So here we go. Uh, we're on the exchange. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got here. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's giving me the total value of my uh, portfolio and telling me how many tokens I own. So let's see if we can take a look at that. Uh, we'll go over here to Wallet. Okay, so it looks like they used a little bit of my Stellar uh, as a Stellar Network Reserve. It's not much. I'm not going to sweat it and it can be withdrawn when you close the account. So as you can see, I have already traded on some other exchanges. So I do have a uh, native Stellar token um, tied to this address. So uh, there's Stellar and then there's uh, some Glitzcoin in here already. So we'd like to buy uh, a little bit of uh, Mobius. So let's go down here. Mobius. Okay, and right now Moby is uh, 0.118 Stellar. So uh, how much do we want to buy? Let's buy uh, 200. All right, that's just, uh, let's buy 2,000. Not 2,000. Let's buy 1,000. Right, and that's just going to cost me a little over a hundred stellar. All right, and you can see the order book down here, and uh, you can choose your price. You'll notice that uh, the lowest price is only uh, there's only 41 Moby available at that lowest price. So since I want to buy a thousand, I need to go up a bit more until uh, I've got enough. So I want to get the cheapest price possible. So I'm just going to click the order book where it's got enough uh, for my total order, which is 1,000. So you see there's 800 here and 128 here and 41 here. So that will cover my 1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and click Buy Moby. And it wants me to sign the transaction with my Ledger Nano S device. All right, so uh, I have the Stellar app open. And uh, I'm in my Stellar wallet. And uh, if your Ledger Nano has gone to sleep, you'll need to uh, enter your PIN to wake it up. So when I click Sign and Submit, it's going to offer me a confirmation here. So I'm going to hit the button. and then my order gets placed. And then we can go over here to activity and uh, they'll see, you can see here that my uh, order for a thousand Moby has been filled. Oh, it's not quite filled. All right, so uh, we're just, it's still an open order, so we just need to wait a bit. A bit. <laughs> okay, so my trade still hasn't gone through and I'm an impatient man, so I'm gonna raise my price a bit maybe make it a little more enticing for someone else that uh, wants to make this trade. So let's see, we're at uh, 11589. Let's cancel that. 
it wants me to sign that cancellation, which I will do on my ledger. And then let's go back over here to markets again, back over to Mobius. And this time I'm just going to go ahead and buy the, uh, the price that they've got suggested here. So we'll, whoops, we don't want to buy that. <laughs> All right, we'll buy a thousand Moby again and we'll click buy. All right, and then we're going to need to confirm that transaction with our ledger. This is the built-in security of the hardware wallet on the ledger. It looks like uh, part of it has filled. Uh, 619 that have uh, filled and I'm still waiting for the remainder of the order to fill so uh, we can look over here at our wallet and see that I do have some Mobius but not the entire thousand yet uh, that was a partial order fill and uh, the uh, the rest of it is still waiting If we look in activity you can see that the order is still waiting to be filled and uh, we'll be patient this time see if it fills Okay, so uh, I left for a bit and uh, came back and the second trade went through. So my uh, ento entire order has now been filled. Uh, we can go over here to Wallet and see that I now have uh, a thousand Mobius uh, from that uh, original trade that I executed. And there you have it. So we've made our trade and uh, we're uh, good to go. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. Pretty easy. Uh, Shows you how to set up a Stellar wallet, shows you how to log into the Stellar X, shows you how to make a little basic trade there. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. I like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from L.A. I hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.